Alright y'all, so recently there has been an interesting argument that has hit the basketball community. What if two high school basketball powerhouses of their time went at it? 2020 Montverde or 2016 Chino Hills? There's one question that the world has been asking for like the last two months. I don't know if you've seen this question. 2020 Mount Verde or 2016 <laughs> Chino Hills? I'm not gonna lie, we're walking them dudes down. 2020 Montverde or 2016 Chino Hills? Stop it, man. 20... The ball boys running like that with the big ball assistant never lost. Montverde. Montverde went in by like 15, 20. Montverde. Montverde. Montverde gonna beat the brakes off the. <laughs> I say uh, 2020 Montverde. It's gonna be a close game, though. Close game. 2020 Montverde. 2020 Montverde. That's Kaden them? Oh yeah, that team. Yeah, that was that, that team was tough. That team was tough. 2016 Chino Hills. 2020 Montverde. That's Caden them, right? Nah, yeah, they. That's not a game. Promise. A smooth. It's gonna be close to be getting, but it's gonna be a smooth 20. 2020. Who's on that team? Caden on them. 2020 Montverde. What? They will beat the crap out of Chino. Now, as you can see, Kaden them got the majority vote as in, in their season, they went a perfect 25 and 0. And this was an extremely deep squad featuring the likes of future NBA All-Star Scotty Barnes, Moses Moody, Deron Sharp, Caleb Houston, Derek Whitehead, and of course, led by the number one point guard in the nation at the time, Cade Cunningham. I mean, with a roster that stacked, it seems like no squad could ever match up against theirs, right? Well, then comes 2015-16 Chino Hills, a team that featured the well-known Ball Brothers. A 5'10 freshman in LaMelo Ball, LiAngelo, who led their squad in scoring at nearly 30 a game, and the number one PG in his class, Lonzo Ball, who averaged a triple-double that season. That trio, along with another NBA talent, Onyeka Okongwu, ran through their schedule going to perfect 35-0. Now, they had an interesting type of scheme where they ran up their score with their full core press that got them early steals, or if that didn't work, they played out entire defensive possessions just for Lonzo to get a rebound and throw a full court outlet pass on the money nearly every time for easy buckets both of these squads were exciting to watch and dominant as hell but now we're gonna wrap back around to the question of who's better well today we're gonna put it to the test by adding both of these squads to nba 2k and settle this debate just a quick disclaimer if there's anybody missing it's because they either didn't make the league or i couldn't find a face to use for them so don't be down in the comments asking where niggas at and although i'm not controlling either of these teams y'all gonna see the combination of my tendencies and sliders made this a back and forth hood classic all the way down to the final buzz so don't miss a damn second of how this turns out. Lonzo, the number one PG in his class, I ain't gonna lie, however he performs is how this game is gonna go. They got the big three, then they got a Kongu, and after that, it's a bunch of roster fillers, so they gotta lock in. We got Montverde starting things out, first team on the board with that free throw, but here's Lonzo trying to get Chino Hills on the board, downhill going up and around the defense like it's nothing. How Montverde gonna respond, we got Cade at the wing, off the wraparound, Caleb Houston in the corner, no good. Lonzo pushing it in transition. Transition off that rebound, swinging it to the corner for Melo, and he's wasting no time pulling up for that little mid range jumper just like IRL. These boys running and gunning. A great start for Chino Hills here. Montverde has got to respond. Dumbing it down low to Sharp. Sharp going up, but there's a Kongu with the block. Chino Hills bringing it down. Lamelo surveying the defense, pulling up for Trey. No good. Okay, we got K bringing it down with the pump fake. Nowhere to go. I made sure to get my man Lonzo Clamps, bro. He was one of the best defenders in his class, but there's Scotty shooting it off the glass they going back and forth with buckets to start this thing out how they finna continue here's lonzo pulling up with a little mid-range floater and he gets it to go my god been going crazy lonzo been going crazy going inside taking a contact for the end one he continued with his scoring he's got basically all of chino hills points to start this thing out we done activated the chino hills full court press breast chino hills bro. they gotta have that full court press going here's moses moody trying to break free Cade trying to come up with something lonzo been playing great Great defense to start this thing out. There's a lob inside for Deron Sharp. Nice little pick and roll right there. K showing off his playmaking skills. Here's Lonzo still trying to go crazy, getting it inside. He's going crazy against this man, Moses Moody, bro. LaMelo with the full court pressure. What they finna do? Good defense. Good defense from LaMelo. Good defense from LaMelo. He's throwing the dime inside for a Kongu for the Tomahawk Slam. That's how Chino Hills move, bro. You love to see it. LaMelo still bringing that full court pressure to Moses Moody. Okay, I'm liking this energy. K coming off the screen. 
wasting no time with the pull up no good but they're sharp getting his oh, he's pushing the kongu out the way and he gets the add one off that put back they getting real physical down low it's a three point game chino hills there's a great steal from scotty what they finna do here what they finna do here getting it down low to k for the easy lay inside lonzo bringing it down here with the pump fake got him in the air finding lamella wide open what are they doing them boys so he can leave a lamella wide open for trey he gets it to go okay screen coming screen coming for k k pulling up with the tray ball he gets it to go nothing but net that's what we looking for bro that's exactly what we looking for i'm loving this competitiveness we got lonzo out the corner there's a lob inside there's a lob inside lonzo making plays to his teammate right there off the roll they get inactive the full court press is activated lamello trying to come up with another steal here the half spin giving it up to k k trying to get it inside he's taking the contact with two defenders right there and he gets the lay to go chino hills bringing it down here they got some of their bench squad in and this nigga come in to make a mistake immediately bro he ain't wasting no time got k one-on-one against lonzo trying to break free with the tween trying to break free with the hop step getting it inside for the lay all over lonzo that's 10 points just like that that's 10 points my boy was just shooting like like one for five and he only had three points but now he already got 10 and he's shooting 50 percent from the field they dumping it down low my bird trying to stay solid on defense swinging it shot clock running out shot clock at five pulling up in the mid range lonzo still hot from the field he has his badge now got this quarter winding down k coming off the down screen but he can't make the defense pay right there i was definitely trying to see that one fall no cap but chino hills running and gunning but there's scotty with the volleyball spike but chino hills recovers it for the trade ball showing them how it's done chino hills is not coming to play whatsoever recovering that big volleyball spike but there's k breaking off lonzo for the pull-up jumper too much is happening right now they doubled it down low but there's scotty with another block inside that's a great first quarter bro that's only the first quarter bro niggas is getting active out here it has been the lonzo show this entire game he has his badge he's trying to get to the basket with the one-handed tomahawk inside he's keeping chino hills alive lonzo bringing it down with that badge he's still trying to get active there's a pick and roll he's dumping it off to the big man they swinging it around the perimeter here they are coming off the screen with the lob inside <laughs> why are these auto-generated niggas doing mob bird like this bro that's that's terrible <laughs> that is terrible <laughs> There's a steal. There's a steal. Trying to dump it down low, but Scotty manages to get it right back. We got Scotty finding Caleb Houston wide open in the corner for the tray ball. Montverde ain't shaking up by the highlight plays whatsoever, but they got to play a lick of defense. I cannot lie. Here's Lonzo. They got lucky that he ain't spray that motherfucker. We got Derek Whitehead trying to make a play right here. Up top for the big. He's pulling up for Trey. Another Trey from the big, and Montverde takes the lead with that one. Boy, this is a hood classic. Already the spin move breaking loose from the <laughs> he just splits the defenders with that spin move but he can't get the lay to go mom birthday in transition a twin from caleb houston trying to get inside doubling it down low to the big he's taking the contact for the and one this big is auto generated but he's hooping like a nigga from mom birthday no cap chino hills came out guns blazing in that first quarter but now it's mom birthday's chance to run and the chino hills need another run of their own or this shit is gonna get ugly no cap there's a down screen being set wide open man no good from trey right there mom birthday on the run to the wide open Caleb Houston in the corner and that is cash money this shit's gonna get ugly real fast here's a down screen being set no good for three right there that didn't work last time and they try it again Scotty on the break with the spin move going up there's a good block Caleb Houston in the corner there's some good defense Lonzo coming up with the steal right there running on the break behind the back going up finding the cutting man down low for the tomahawk Lonzo out there doing what he does best playing defense and making plays and transition Montverde needs something. Caleb Houston with the turnaround fade right there. No good. Chino Hughes is not going away that easy. Here they are finding a Kongu down low for the two-handed flush. What we not finna do is sit here and pretend like these niggas not hooping how Chino Hills would in real life. And there's Lonzo coming up with another interception inside right there. It is a four-point game. Montverde is in control right here. Here they are driving to the basket. Giving it up. Caleb Houston up top. This ball movement is immaculate. No good from Trey though lamello one-on-one against moses moody he's dumping it down low to his mans right there and he's wasting no time with the turnaround fade Montverde still controlling the two-point lead here there's almost a steal there's a steal right there for chino hills they almost got the steal they actually got the steal right there and they flush it home in transition and they tie the game with that one this game is going tit for tat here's k back in the game trying to come up with something right here there's almost a steal right there but there's a congru with the sailing in block but Montverde manages to recover
recovery and there's Scotty from downtown that first half did not disappoint whatsoever we had both squads going crazy they was going back and forth as you can see Chino Hills is not done getting active they trying to stay in this game Montverde controls it here it's a five point game K trying to keep his team alive there's another steal from Lonzo Lonzo doing what he does best playing defense pulling up in the mid range and rims out though Montverde trying to come up with something right here Caleb Houston with a step back pull up oh my goodness that was tough trying to come up with something for his squad he's been kind of quiet dumping it down low to a Kongu. it gets stolen by sharp good recovery defense from chino hills there's a down screen for Cade. k getting to the basket with the pump fake going up with the floater inside it's a 10 point game double digit lead for Montverde, but it's not really nothing to chino hills these boys put up points on the board like it's nothing we got jello swinging it over to lamello at the free throw line he's hitting a spin move trying to get around the defense with the floater right there no good but he manages to get his own board we got jello with the bounce pass over to lonzo and he's wasting no time with the facetime right there hand in his face he don't give a damn moses moody in the corner sizing up 510 lamello ball using that screen wasting no time with the cash money come on lonzo you gotta keep your squad rolling but there's the big steal the big steal we got deron sharp telling my nigga lonzo to put that shit down now we got k working out the short corner going up with the easy lay inside lamello driving going up with the floater there's a block there's all that was almost a snatch block but it still managed to be a block for sharp bringing it down here trying to get to the basket he's driving going up taking the contact for the lay and chino hill need a timeout can they come back bro they already came back multiple times they've came back multiple times from double digit leads there's a good find inside no good with the lay though you gotta hit those lays bro they teammates is selling them here's scotty trying to get to the basket there's great defense but scotty recovers it finding the open man for trey and he laces that motherfucker Montverde might be breaking free right here Montverde might be breaking free right here here's Lamelo driving to the basket taking the contact with two defenders on him a couple more buckets from Montverde and this shit gonna be out of reach there's Moses Moody getting downhill with it Chino Hills needs something Chino Hills needs something here's Lamelo coming off the screen again with the floater inside going inside there's a good block from Lonzo Lonzo finding Lamelo in the break Lamelo driving to the basket taking the contact for the lay they not going away bro i promise you this is about to go down to the final shot the final few minutes the final few seconds whatever you want to call it swinging it here they are playing defense but they're finding the wide open man for trey that one hurts bro that one stings like a motherfucker i cannot lie come on lonzo the weight is on your shoulder my nigga the weight is on your shoulder there's a lob inside lonzo oh my fucking god I said the weight is on your shoulders. He said, nigga, I'm going to deliver. So now with Lonzo on the bench, we trying to see some Lamelo action, some Jello action. Somebody needs to step the fuck up. No cap or else this going to get out of hand, bro. It's going to get real ugly. Here they are. Lob inside. Another lob inside. That nigga right there, bro. He is ultra athletic, bro. I don't know what the hell tendencies I gave him, but he is hooping. They got Lamelo guarding K, bro. I don't know about that matchup, bro. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you about that matchup. That shit might get ugly, bro. That shit might get ugly. Here's K pulling up up in the mid range is no good it rattles out got mellow on that break trying to make a play with the spin move swinging it to the corner finding jello wide open for trey he gets it to go and it's a three-point game for chino hills if you're not realizing it yet bro basketball is a game of runs and right now chino hills is hot all they need to do is come up with a few more stops scotty barnes getting downhill and there's the fifth foul on a kongu making him foul out now chino hills has to rely on a random ass roster filler to win this game game at the five spot bro they might be cooked with six minutes left to go to bro they might very well be cooked bro i'm not gonna lie to y'all it's only a five point game they just need to come up with a few more buckets here they are wide open in the corner making it a two point game now i don't know what my birthday was thinking leaving that nigga wide open here he is driving to the basket off that steal with the lane <laughs> Let me find out that the auto-generated niggas, the throwaway niggas that I just put randomly into the roster is about to save the game for Chino Hills, bruh. That would definitely be nasty work from 2K, but here's K wasting no time in the mid-range. He said, I got something to say about that. K said, I'm gonna have something to say about that. We is not finna lose to no damn roster filler. Here's Lonzo. That was a bad shot. I ain't gonna lie to heavily contested with two niggas right there in your face. Here's K pulling up for three. That was another bad shot. Now we out here trading bad shots. Come on now, lock in. 
in. Here's Jello driving downhill. Finding Lonzo wide open in the mid-range. No good, but there's a rebound and a dunk all over K's head. I put too many athletic niggas on Chino Hills. There's LaMelo with the steal. He's driving to the basket with the leg, and Chino Hills takes the lead. That was dumb clutch regaining the lead for Chino Hills, and I could not tell you how this game is going to end. All I can say is like the damn video. This is beautiful content. I did not expect these niggas to be hooping like this. This right here would be an insane choke job from Mom Verde, bro. Y'all was up by like 15 plus, and now y'all down by two, but here's Scotty. Here he is driving, taking the contact with the lay inside, and he ties the game. This is about to go down to the wire. The final shot. What I tell y'all? Lamella with that sharp take. It's looking like some down screens being set. Lonzo wide open, coming off the down screens. It rattles out. Lonzo is shit in the bed right now. Here's Scotty driving to the basket with the lay, and Mom Verde regains the lead just that fast. What they gonna do, Lonzo? Your team needs you. What they gonna do? Finding the big man down low. That's IQ. That's IQ from Lonzo. They fell asleep. They was filling out one side, trying to make sure he don't get a drive, and he finds his big man down low. There's an ankle breaker from Cade. Cade getting jiggy, trying to keep his team alive. There's a step back. He got Lonzo all loose, and he gets the mid-range jumper to go. These boys is not disappointing. Lonzo with 19, Cade with 20. Number one PGs in their class. There's Lonzo with another play down low for his big man. Final two minutes. It's a tie game. There's Cade breaking free for the mid-range pull up that was a little too fast into the shot clock i cannot lie that might have been a terrible shot lonzo here he's been the savior for chino hills finding the wide open man in the corner no good no good jello couldn't get it to go mom verde with a chance to take the lead here possibly win the game there's a good move from k the no look dime off the ankle breaker finding sharp down low for the one-handed punch how lonzo and chino hills gonna respond lonzo driving to the basket finding a shooter if he would have stayed in the corner that probably would have been wide open but there's Lonzo from downtown lacing that motherfucker and Chino Hills takes the lead right back this is getting too active oh my goodness bro this gameplay is immaculate K stepping back midi no good it rims out but they are sharp recovering if Okongwu was in they could have got that rebound Lonzo trying to break loose right here finding an open shooter in the corner no good it rims out he can't get it to go inside one minute this is a big possession from Mom Bird swinging it to Cade inside he's going Going up, I thought that was definitely an and one, but he's still going to the line for two. The game is in K's hands right now. He has the chance to put Mont Verde ahead by three with two free throws. He gets them both to go. Chino Hills needs something easy right here. Here's Lonzo trying to get to the drive, finding Lamella wide open in the corner. He can't get it to go, but there's the big man securing the rebound for the putback. I most definitely slept on that roster filler, but here's K getting downhill. He has the game in his hands, finding a big man down low, sharp going. Going up, taking the contact for a delay. Lonzo got to secure something right here. Lonzo has to secure something right here. Driving to the basket, taking the contact for the air one. And he has the chance to tie the game right here. Do not sell this ending. Do not sell this ending. This game is unfolding perfectly. And if you ruin it by missing a free throw, I'm going to be pissed. Come on, nigga. The gameplay has been immaculate up to this point. Do not ruin it with a missed free throw. It is up and good for Lonzo. It's 82 to 82 coming out the timeout mop verde has possession two of the top point guards in their classes trying to prove that they repping the greatest high school team of all time Cade going 1v1 against lonzo downhill why the hell would he try to go for a charge that wasn't going to work my nigga like i literally can't tell if he was going for a charge right there or if he's just gerber baby down low but either way he gotta redeem himself right here lonzo has a chance to take this thing to ot he has a chance to take this thing to ot pulling up it rims out and Mont Verde secures the W here. Just as I predicted, the game was tip for tap, back and forth up to that final shot, but Mont Verde squeezes out the W here, settling the debate. 2020 Mont Verde is better than 2016 Chino Hills. I hope y'all enjoyed this goddamn video. I enjoy creating it for y'all, and if y'all want to continue seeing beautiful content just like this, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I'm Nazir, signing out. Peace.